Low ovarian reserve can be diagnosed by various ways including a blood test which can be done on day 2 or day 3 of the cycle, menstrual cycle to measure follicular stimulating hormone and estradiol levels. Follicular stimulating hormone is a hormone which is secreted from the pituitary gland which is located in the brain. It sends signals to the ovaries for recruiting and maturing eggs. So if the reserve in the ovary is less, the pituitary has to send stronger signals to the ovary resulting in elevated FSH levels. There is another blood test called an anti-mullerian hormone which can be done at any part of the menstrual cycle. This anti-mullerian hormone is secreted by the antral follicles and preantral follicles and uh, this anti-mullerian hormone levels drop if the reserve is low. Uh, this can be the drop can be detected months to years uh, earlier than the abnormalities in the FSH and estradiol. So it's more sensitive in detecting um, the low ovarian reserve. And uh, the third way where the ovarian reserve can be uh, diagnosed is by a pelvic ultrasound scan to check the antral follicle count. So if the antral follicle count is low, it signifies uh, low ovarian reserve. Antral follicles are nothing but uh, every month uh, certain follicles are recruited for maturation. If the, the number of follicles recruited, it depends on the reserve of the ovary. If there is less, less number of immature eggs remaining in the ovary, obviously less follicles are recruited. So antral follicle count uh, gives an estimate of ovarian reserve as well. So once uh, we diagnose an ovarian reserve, a uh, reduced ovarian reserve, we need to uh, advise the woman uh, about uh, planning for the conception early. So the, the aim of the management uh, is to reduce the conception time and or if the woman is not keen to conceive at that point, we can advise her to freeze her eggs or embryos to use at a later stage.